Chapter 2. The Meaning of the Three Categories of Delusions The conscious mind is dark and depressed. It has wandered from the right path and does not improve. The nature of the mind is to be noisy and cluttered, and it rejects the jeweled vehicle instead of accepting it. This is due to the dominance of cravings, which obstruct the sun of wisdom like a dark cloud, and the prevalence of the cycle of birth and death, which causes the boat of contemplation to sink in the sea of suffering. Thus the three wisdoms are hidden of themselves, and the three virtuous qualities are not manifest because of this. Therefore practice is required. Now, in order to clarify this meaning, I shall divide it into three parts. First, the introduction. Second, scriptural support. And third, the interpretation. Introduction. Question. What are the names of the three categories of delusions? Answer. One, deluded views and attitudes. Two, minute delusions. And three, the delusion of ignorance. Scriptural Support Question. Treatises such as the Dasabhumika Sutra Sastra all refer to the obstacle of cravings and the wisdom obstacle. Why do you now propose three categories of delusions? Answer. This Tendai school exposes three categories of delusions based on the Pancha Vimasata Sahasrita Prajnaparamita Sutra and the Ta Chi Tul Lun. Question. Of the two obstacles, which is expanded to make three categories? Answer. The wisdom obstacle includes both phenomenal appearances and reality. Therefore, it is the one which is expanded. Question. Of the minute and ignorance categories of delusion, which refers to phenomenal appearances and which to reality? The obstacle to wisdom concerning phenomenal appearances corresponds to the minute delusions, and the obstacle to wisdom concerning reality corresponds to the delusion of ignorance. Interpretation The interpretation consists of four parts. First is the explanation of the three categories of delusions. Next is the interpretation concerning severing the delusions. The third concerns the three categories of delusions and the manifestation of the subtle dharma. And the fourth concerns the severance of delusions and the fulfillment of Buddhahood. <laughs>